Hello friends, this is Jamie. I want to welcome you to my channel today. Hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Today is going to be another video in my Space Timber series. So this is basically part three of showing you space themed pages for Space Timber. These are pages that I have found throughout my collection. I've been going through books in my collection, shelf by shelf, looking through books. It actually is very fun to go through books and see what I have, especially on these old ones that I haven't looked at for a long time. So it's kind of fun. It's like Christmas all over again. Um, but space, it's totally out there, right? Um, yeah, I will just get started and start showing you. Since I'm going to continue this on in my playlist, so this will be part three. Um, parts one and two are already on the playlist, so go ahead and check those out if you haven't already. And we'll just get started. So the first one I have here, just make sure we're in a focus that we're good. There's a little glare, so I'm going to just hold it up a little bit until we open the book. So this is the Posh Coloring Book Peanuts by Charles Schultz. And that's the original Peanuts artist. There is just one in here. And it's this little um, little astronaut Snoopy page with some rocket ships going around. It's kind of wallpapery, but um, this would be really fun just to maybe do couch coloring with some gel pens or something. Yeah. So I have that little one. Let me just set that aside. Next one I have here is Ladies of Leisure by Zan Von Zed, and I found two in here, potentials. So there's this girl right here. She's kind of floating, so it makes me think she's anti-gravity, and then she's got these like star things that are like 3D, and this particular image is kind of grayscaled, so it wouldn't take that much work to color this up and it would look really neat. And um, the next one, I'm gonna, uh, we'll leave these in and I can look that through them later and see if I wanna color them. Next one I have is very spacey as this one right here. And she's definitely an astronaut looking girl in um, an alien world. We've got a planet behind her and yeah got vines coming out of the ground this one would be a really good one for space timber so if you're wondering which ladies of leisure it is it's number four next one I have is it's called whipped a delectable adult coloring book and this is a blue star coloring book illustrated by Rudy Fig and they had this one I had a whole bunch of cookies and the cookies are planets and moons so that works if you want to color a whole bunch of cookies. They had this one that looked kind of like an alien kitty. And so I thought it would fit. And the tail looks like it's kind of got an orbit thing going on. And there's like a planet thing here. But foodie wise. And then this one was totally spacey. Because we've got a rocket ship. We've got a kitty planet. Yeah. That would totally work. I know I won't color any of those, so I have a lot of other ones picked out of there that are very similar. I do have the Crayola Art Edge Star Wars Mandalorian um, poster coloring book thing. And you could do anything in here. And I'll just show you the one that I've done, which is this one, which is Mando and the Baby Grogu. I did that one a long time ago and it comes with like posters in it but each one of these comes out so if you like coloring books that um, you can take out the image of easily these um, full color posters by Crayola they do that really easily next one I have here is goddess goddess and mythology coloring book by Selena Fennick. And I thought that this one would be fitting. We've got a moon and 
it looks like some bells and she's over the water. I think that one would be okay for Space Timber. Now, I have a page similar to this in um, in one of my mythographics that I started. So I probably will work on my whip versus this one, but it is a very pretty one if you have this book. Next one I pulled is Chris Reniac's Morning Scribbles Halloween coloring book. So this one, I was able to find an alien. And so if you have this book, you could color this one. And he's actually zooming up a little pumpkin so if you didn't get a chance to color it this month, you could actually color it for October as well. But this cute little alien and alien spaceship and these um, pages don't take hardly any time to color. So they're lots of fun. Next one I have is Dainty Damsel's Halloween Collection 2019 by JN Sheets. And the one that I found was this one. This girl kind of reminds me of Sailor Moon a little bit. We've got stars and a moon and clouds. Yeah. So you could do her. I have Matchstick Mouse Halloween Coloring Book by Morgan O'Brien. And I found this one with a shooting star. Um, I feel like any page that has a shooting star could be classified as a space page. And he's got a warm little blanket around him. So that's really cute. I'll probably not color that one, but save this book for Halloween. But that one is cute. Moving on to Disney Portraits. Uh, this is the first one. And... I flagged a couple. These are um, the Art Therapy 60 images, the big ones that flip out like this. So I have Stitch here that I flagged because Stitch is an alien, so that would work. Or we've got Jim, I think his name is, from Treasure Planet. I don't think I'll color either one of those, but they're there, and yeah. I have the Grand Block Art Therapy Trompe Lolio or something. This one, um, I, I remember I got this one because it was single-sided and it was a color by number, and I really like my markers, so I thought... Oh, I'll try this so that maybe I can use my markers and it won't matter if there's a bleed through. I have yet to try it, but um, I flagged ones that you could potentially do. These are the answer keys in the back. So number 21, we have stitch. You could do stitch for space timber. You could also do buzz. He's number 34. And you could do Wally. He's number 37. So any of those would work for Space Timber if you have this book. This one is the one that I feel like it's not going to stand the test of time, but we'll see. I have Inflamil Tome 2 Grand Block. Art therapy. This one has Peter Pan on the cover. The first one has um, the Bunny family, Thumper's family. There's this one that I think is really cute of the aliens on Toy Story, so I'm going to leave that one flagged. And the other one is this one of the aliens off of uh, Chicken Little. Now, I flagged this one in another book, and I'm thinking I'll do that one because it's smaller. So, I will unflag this one. I think I just messed up my flags. That's okay. <laughs> so, let's put that one over there. Um, come on, come down, little stack. <laughs> Next one I have is Disney 
colegas or something like that. I think it means buddies. And this is a uh, art therapy book as well. I think mine's in Spanish. And um, this is an older one. And here's another one of the aliens. And I think this one's really cute too. We've got planets and spaceships in this one too. I just can't decide which alien one I like the best. Eventually I'm going to have to pick one to be my winner, but until I can taper it down, I haven't decided which one I want to do. Um, I have the Grand Block Graffitis by Disney, and I have yet to color in this one. And there is Ben the Robot, and he's on uh, Treasure Planet. And this one I'm actually coloring another one of Ben in a different book so I will unflag him and Buzz Lightyear he'd be a fun one to do with all the Buzz Lightyear colors I don't know if I'm gonna do him though because I, I want to if I'm gonna color in this book I want to give myself enough time to really really go into detail and I've been putting a lot on the agenda so I don't think I'll have time to do that justice um, next I have Disney Mosaics or, yeah, that word. <laughs> like I said, I think this one says in Spanish. And, um, we've got Stitch here. And so this is kind of like Tylee, but it's not like, uh, the Vitro books. This is different. And I've yet to color in this one, so... He's a pretty good contender, but uh, I have another stitch page with a rocket ship that I really like, so I think we'll pass on that one. There's Buzz Lightyear. Another one that's really good, but I think I'll pass. And Wally and Eva. This one I think I might keep unless I find one in vitro that I like more, so I'm just going to hang on to that one for now. Next one I have is Boy Power, and this is another one of those bigger block books. This is older, it has the designs in the actual characters. Um, I found Buzz Lightyear. This one is very spacey because we've got stars and a black background, and it's taking off like a rocket. This one would be a very good one to color. And then there's this one. So Buzz is with the aliens and the claw in this one. So a few more pictures of Buzz in this one. Oops, that pile. <laughs> Next one I have here, um, it's Yippee Kawaii Yay Mandala Magic Volume 2. Now there are three volumes of this book by Danny Banani and if you like these premium editions you can get them on Etsy at um, Fun Usual Suspects Etsy store. I have the first one and the second one. So this is the second one and there's actually quite a few that would work that I haven't colored. Okay, go lay on the couch. Yes, yes. This alien one is really cute. Wouldn't take that long. I really like to color these type of mandalas. They're fun to color. Here's a cat one. I don't think I'll do the cats. I think I like the alien one better because I think I could do that alien one for the men in black hashtag. Um, there's this robot one and they've got little spaceship things. And I think I'll pass on the robot one. And then there's this one. And this has all sorts of animals and rocket ships and things like that. This one would be really fun to color, so I'm going to keep that one flagged. It's called Cosmic Critters. I have my Colorful World of Steampunk by Color It. Um, I was searching through here and... I wasn't sure if I'd find anything, but I did find something, so I found this one. 
So we've got this girl, she's on a moon. We've got planets all over her. I have yet to color in this book. It's pretty detailed, as you can see, but it'd be really fun to do a space page in vintage tones, like your browns and uh, antique colors. And so this could be a very good potential one for using those antique color scheme. So, yeah, I may hang on to that one since I haven't colored in that book. <laughs> I did find one in this one, which is Kawaii Color by Number, um, Black Background by Color Questopia. So if you have a big Color by Number collection and you have this one, there's a cute space page in here. It's this one right here. We are on a planet and we've got other planets and aliens and astronauts. So this is really fun and stress free. Yeah. So there's that one. Now I couldn't remember if I showed this in my, my space pages or not. Uh, I know I showed it in my completed pages video. But just in case I didn't show it in my Space Pages <laughs> videos, I'll show it again. This is Tiny Rooms by Jade Summer. This is a new book by Jade Summer. And um, the one that I have flagged is this one. And it's really cute. It's actually a space spaceman's room. So, yeah, this one would be really fun to color. And I think someone did contact me on Instagram to buddy with me on this. I just haven't gotten back to them, so um, I'm going to hang on to this one and hopefully, potentially, get this one colored. All right, I have the first um, Kawaii Mandala Magic book. Can you sit down, honey? You're casting a shadow. I know you're casting a shadow, though. And the one that I'm going to show you, I've actually colored before. This is by Danny Banani again. And it's this one. It's the little Great Galaxy page. The little astronauts and rocket ships and stuff. So I've already colored this one, so I can just take that off. But I use gel pens and fine liner markers. and They come together fairly quickly. This particular book, I have quite a few colored. One. Thank you, honey. My daughter's here helping. This is Rooms of Wonder, and this is by Johanna Basford. Looks like my key got smudged, and I've never colored in this book. Oh well, happens, I guess. And the pages that I tagged were these two. So we've got this room, which everybody's probably seen before. And then we've got this cabinet that has full of planets and stuff. And I'll be honest, I know I won't color these. Because I have so many other things that I would like to color first. So, but If you have only Johanna Bassfords in your collection, there are some space pictures you could potentially do. Um, I also have a World of Wonder coloring book and this is Johanna Bassford as well. You could do either one of these because they have stars and you could create galaxy backgrounds on either one of these. These would be a great um, thing to maybe try some different mediums on your background since there's such an empty space in the background. Um, the next one is this one with the balloons. You could do a fun galaxy thing with this one right here. Yeah. I have pulled some of my Kirby's. As you know, you can do alien worlds. Anything in alien worlds would work. Um, but these are some of his other books. This is Imagimorphia. And the first one I'm going to show you, I've actually already colored a long time ago. So these are the... Zeppelins, I guess you could say, blimps, Zeppelins, and I did them basically in space, or 
night sky or whatever. I did a boy versus girl thing. I think I did this back in 2019. My color and style has definitely changed. I have definitely upped my game when it comes to backgrounds. But yeah, this is what I did at the time. Very steampunky, very cool. And then this one I've done as well. And this is the carriage with the horses. Now, I don't think this is originally planned to be a spacey type of thing. I just made it that way because I made these into unicorns and I created this rainbow so it went from one dimension into another dimension and yeah that's just the way I did it so you can do whatever you want in a Kirby you can transform it to be in outer space if you want it to be um, I have Mythomorphia and there's this guy right here you could do you could even do this one too the elephant but this guy's got planets in his beard and stuff I've seen a lot of people do this one yeah and add like galaxy backgrounds and get really creative and the last one of Kirby's is World Within Worlds. There's quite a few I have flagged in this one. So let's see. You can do this moon with the trees. You could do this one. It's a two-page spread. We've got sea life, a kind of going kind of like a a comet going in Ooh, that took off my page did you see that oh well most likely i'd black out the background anyway and do my own stars <laughs> so i'm not too worried um you could do this one it's a compass but it's got planets on it this one a little more careful not try to rip them off <laughs> they were some pretty cheap tabs so either they were gonna be really sticky or not so we'll see we have this astronaut with another little city thing going on inside And then we have this one with the two pterodactyls, which definitely has outer space in the wings if you're up for a double. And if you're doing one of those detailed doubles, I know there's a hashtag for detailed double pages out there if you want to go for the gold on those. Um, now I'm going to show you a bunch of uh, Amazon books. This is uh, Sassy Sweethearts Adult Coloring Book by Sassy Coloring. And I found, I can find it, this one, she's holding a star, very cute, that's a pretty thick one, right there, here's another big, big mama, this is the Yam Puffs Dreams Collection, and I found this one, because we've got moons and stars in the background of the mandala. So, yeah, you could color this to be spacey if you wanted it to be. And then towards the back, there's a bunch. So there's this girl right here with all the stars going on in her hair. She's totally doing the star thing there. There's this girl holding a planet. I think this is like an entire section. There's this astronaut girl right here. This girl with an orbit around her head. Ah. These little dog tabs I really don't like, so that's why I used them up. There's this girl with the stars. I like this one out of all of these so far. 
but I know there's other books that have something similar. And she has constellations in her dress. It would be fun to do that and then do a galaxy in this circle behind her. So, yeah, and they have titles for each one of those girls. Like, this is called Celestial Constellations. Um, this one's called Deep Space. So, yeah. Different things going on there. I have Whimsical Dreamland coloring book. And this one, I tagged this one. There's a lot going on, but we've got constellations. We've got a girl on a blanket with a teddy bear. She's got one of those lights that you can get your kids that display stars like on the ceiling. This little kitty is fishing for constellations. So there's a lot going on, but it's very space oriented. If you have that book. Oh, this one. This next one's a fun one. Um, so, Izzy Spooky Adventures um, Camp Creep. I remember I got this because I wanted to color something Halloween-y. And um, this is uh, the page I stumbled upon while looking through my books. So, <laughs> she's being abducted. Because, yeah, it's an alien spaceship. She's camping, but she's being abducted. So that would totally work for Space Timber. I'm going to save that one because I think it's funny. Uh, let's pull some more down here. I have Jar Worlds from Morgana Sky. I remember I got this one, and then um, a whole bunch of people got the one from Coloring Book Cafe. And I thought, do I really want to get the one from Coloring Book Cafe 2? And then the one came out for Coloring Heaven, and those were the same images for Coloring Book Cafe. And I still had this one from Organa Sky. And I was just like, you know what, I have enough jar books. So I'll just stay put. <laughs> um, there is this page back here. That would work. This one right here. Uh, there's planets. There's a telescope. There's a little character. Go look at outer space. Yeah, this would work for Space Timber. I think I'm going to pass on that one because I have a lot of telescope pictures. Hmm? Alright, I have Cutie Dolls updated version coloring book by you. You Nina, yeah, it's Genovea art <laughs> is the best way for me to put it. And this one I thought was really cute. There's just two little dolls on shelves. She's got moons on her clothes and that one has stars. And on the other version, it looks totally different. So if you want to color this one, you need to get the updated version, which I think is on her Etsy store too. If you're interested, I have World Inside a Jar by Southern Lotus, and there was a few in here that I have flagged. There's this one. He's got like a planet head. This one's a little too psychedelic for me. Uh, I don't know if I'd ever color this page. Uh, the back background reminds me of a lava lamp, but yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got this one. This one's more my speed. We've got two kids cruising, you know, getting ready to take on the outer space journey. And then we've got this one that's shaped like a heart bottle, and we've got like an alien looking creature, and it's totally outer space. So, yeah. I have the Zodiac anime coloring book by Ollie Colors and this one I didn't flag anything specific because a lot of these pages have planets and stars and moons so I think almost anything in this book you could do because of the backgrounds they have everything going on. 
So, yeah. I think anything in this book would work. Just pulling down another stack here. I have uh, The Cute and Crazy Critters Village, The Bunny Family, Volume 3. And this is the one I flagged was the one on the cover where they're looking at shooting stars outside. So I'm not going to color this one because maybe... Good night, sweetie. This one I might potentially, um, this book, use as a color along later because I'm doing the Fox family right now. So I'm going to just save that for later another time. Um, I have Cat 22 Series 2 coloring book. And this one... I believe this by Sugar Sweet and this one right here, the Moon Cat. And I think this would be really simple to color and you could really sparkle it up and stuff. And yeah, I think this one would be really fun to do. So yeah, there's that one. And then there was one more. These little otter tabs make it hard for me to tell. Oh, uh, we got Phoenix. She is, her curiosity for life is immense. Her thirst for knowledge is quite intense. She wanted to soon, too soon to capture the moon with all the waiting she left in suspense. So as a moon. And I think there was one behind her too. There was three in this book. This guy. The E.G. Yeah. He's got planets and stars right here. And he's got a mantra and a chant and stuff like that. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know if he's really spacey, but he was the one that had planets. So, yeah. I'm going to keep this book out because I think this would just be a fun one to color and it would... I could probably get all three of those cats colored in a day. So, yeah, that's one of those that would be an easy coloring. I have Bugville Coloring Book Volume 1 by Fern Brown. And they had this one with the bugs going to outer space. And the spaceship is a can of soda. That's so funny. But, yeah, even bugs can go to space. So, yeah, that one's fun. I think they're supposed to be like ants. They look like ants to me. Um, I have the Dollhouse Extravaganza coloring book by Fern Brown as well. And I like Fern Brown. <laughs> and they have this one, which is like a giant spaceship. And you can see what they're doing on different levels on the spaceship. And I haven't colored in this, but this would be really cool to do the different levels. And you could use your fine liners. There's an alien on the bottom level. He escaped the capsule. So, yeah. I'm going to set this one aside as a possible maybe. There's so many choices, so little time. Cat Journey by Southern Lotus. And this one, this cat in outer space. We've got aliens, rocket ships, planets. You name it, we've got space stuff. So... This would definitely work, and I'm not going to do that one, because I'm not feeling it, but it's very fun. I have Bite Size Worlds by Karen Suchen, and this one, we've got this, like, boba drink. We've got planets in there and stuff. Yeah, there's that one would work, and this one would work as well. These are like little cakes. They call them moon cakes. These are little like astronaut bunny things. We've got a planet and we've got a spaceship. So, that one. I have Gabby Wolf's Mini Mania Volume 2. And I picked this one because he's looking out at the stars in his telescope. I really like this, but I have a telescope page already picked out that I really want to do. So I'm going to pass this one for another day. Um, next one I have, you guys probably haven't seen it because not very many people show these on their channels. 
but they used to a long time ago. Inklings 2 by Tanya Bond. I don't know if you can still get her books anymore. Let me know if you can. Uh, like I said, I haven't seen them for a long time, but they used to be pretty popular. And I flagged this one. So she's called The Moon Child. And I think this is supposed to be some kind of moon or something in the background. It would be fun to do one of these. Um, I've already done one for my portrait ear color for alien skin and like cosmic sci-fi eyes. But it would be fun to take another approach and try another one. So this one would be a fun one to do some kind of alien-esque skin. So I'm going to hang on to that one. I have Starfort, uh, 20 pages to color. Who is this by? I don't remember. But I remember I saw it on someone's channel and thought, what a fun little book. I am going to find that book. And it was like forever ago. I got it on Amazon. And they're simple sketches. So I don't think you're looking at AI here. I think these are sketched out. And, um... Everything in this book deals with space. So you could color anything in this book. Since there's only 20 pages, I'm just gonna give you like quick flip through here. And this one, the front page, I think is awesome. That one's cute. She's got a ring around her, like it's a hula hoop. There's an alien. That's an alien too. And I remember, who was it? I think it's Heidi Hornsby that had this book. And like she colored it straight with alcohol markers and then shaded on top. And the drawings were so simple. It just looked really cool the way she did it. And it intrigued me and of course I had to get it. And the artist also did this one, Happy Doodles. And um, this is a coloring book literally for anyone. And there is this one, that's a space guy. I think it's supposed to be like the little prince cause he's got a little crown. There's this girl, that's a space girl. This edge is cut off. So it makes me wonder what's going on there. So you'd have to definitely frame that out or finish these rings yourself. There's this girl. She would be a fun one to color. I might hang on to her. There's this one. The wavy hair. There's actually quite a few in this book too. This one. And paper's fairly thin. It's just Amazon paper. And this one. This one has a bell. <laughs> kind of Christmassy. So, yeah. Alright. And then I have Fanciful Fairy Fashion. And I think the one I'm going to show you in here, I've colored. By Meredith Dillman. Uh, yeah. This is the one I colored. So, yeah, she's like holding a star, and she's a fairy, obviously, and I used blues and silvers, and I tried to make her hair like silverly, silvery white. I was getting kind of Lord of the Rings inspired, because she has elfish ears, so, yeah, this was a long time ago when I just used pencils and gel pens, so it's been a long time. <laughs> Back in the day. This is a longer video because I had a bigger stack, but I'm trying to go at a smooth pace here. I have Whimsical World uh, number five coloring book by Molly Harrison. And I thought this one would be fitting for Space Number because she's got lots of stars going on. Like she's balancing stars. <laughs> We've got Kawaii Unicorns coloring book by Colored Carmel. 
And this one will work. We've got a space unicorn. She's an astronaut. There's even a little alien in this picture. Constellations and stars and planets. I have the Broken Circles coloring book by Tabitha Barnett. And we have this fun one right here. It's totally an outer space one. Uh, with aliens and planets and a rocket ship and all those good things. They look very similarly drawn to Enchanted Galaxies and I'm going to be working in that one so I'm not going to do that one and this is it in black background. So if you prefer a black background there's one in the back for a black background. Just want to show you the, the two. Ah. My little Station of tabs flying away here. That's okay. That's why I used all my cheap tabs up. These ones, these flatter tabs, I like these ones a lot because they work really well. Whimsical Mandalas Volume 2 by Tabitha Barnett. There's this one. We've got rocket ships and UFOs. So that one would be pretty simple to color. I have Cute Spring Gnomes Coloring Book by Colored Carmel, and oh, I guess I like this one because there's stars. Yeah, I don't know if that's really that spacey, so we're not going to worry about that one too much. Looks more magical. Ah, this one is definitely spacey. So this is Space Doodles Kawaii Galaxy Coloring Book by Colored Carmel. Anything in this book would work because everything is done in outer space. So if you like doodle explosion and overly cuteness, that is this book all over. Let's go do any of these. My daughter and me like to color in these together. Yeah, there's that one. There's a Simply Cute Kawaii Coloring Book by Colored Carmel, and I flag this one because there's planets and stuff. It'll be a cute one to do. See, these ones are good tabs. They last a long time. Kawaii Astro Girl by Coco Wayo. So you could do anything in this book and it would all work for Space Timber. And I want to say this, I the one I did in here is my profile image on Instagram right now. I had a lot of fun coloring in this book when I colored. So I think I'm going to hold it out for Space Timber. And she's just a little astronaut girl. So fun. That's the one I did. How fun that is. And I picked a color scheme and I just stuck with it. Really fun. I don't think I'm going to color the, her the same throughout the book because that's a lot of images of the same girl in the same outfit. So we'll see. Um, I have Cutie Dolls for Grown Ups coloring book. And there's this space one. I really like this book, but the one thing I don't like about it is the face of the girl never changes. It's the same face. The outfit and the hair and everything around it changes, but it's the same face. It doesn't even move. It doesn't give another expression. It's the same face throughout the entire book. So weird. <laughs> but, I mean, it's cute. It's just... You couldn't color page after page after page because there's no change in facial expression. Um, the next is I Love You a uh, Lottle. And there's this uh, axolotl in space. He's an astronaut. Lots of cute ones. And this is by Colored Carmel as well. I have Love Doodles by Colored Carmel. And we have this one, very 
doodle explosion concept going on here. And I have this one. A little rocket ship coming through the heart. Oh, that's a good tab right there. I have Enchanted Beauty by Emily Chawa. And we've got this girl. She's looking out in the stars. These are actually kind of odd looking books a little bit, but they color up really nicely. Um, there's this one, and I something about this reminded me of planets, so I just flagged it. And then this one, we've got the sun and different things going on in the sky. Sorry if I bumped you guys. <sighs> the Draglings Coloring Book by, the art is by Randall Spangler. And I have yet to color in this one. And so I flagged this first one that's this picture right here because this is his dream journal and we've got moon and stars and it says celestial dreams and that says space on it. And there's planets all in this like gumball thing behind him. So that would be fun to color. Let's see how this looks. Very cool. And I have a story troll color book, Princesses Rule the World. And this is a Juliet Rivers um, book illustrated by Martin Pop Popovic. And this one I haven't seen on many channels either, but it's a fun one. This one right here. This one would just be fun to color because it's funny. Cause look at this alien chasing this guy. There's this guy goofing off and she's like, woohoo, this is like a party time because she's the princess. And and this her dragon is eating the rings here. How funny is all that? This whole book is just funny. So if you like books that make you laugh and it's just quirky sense of humor, look at this Yoko one. Yeah, this is definitely one I'd recommend for your shelves. It's a funny one. There's Big Eyed Girls by Coloring Book Cafe. And there's this girl. She is truly looking through the telescope, looking at stars and constellations at night. This is what I would typically see maybe if you went stargazing. So that's a stargazer is what I would call it. I have uh, fantasy and fairy tale characters, Grayscale by Christine Karen. And I picked this girl because her name is Starborn. So maybe she was born by a star. She'd be a fun one to color if you like Christine Karen's pages. And then there's this one. She says that she's the queen of her world. So she's got a planet here. So you could do that for Space Timber too. If you're more into the portrait thing, there are some portraits out there that will work. Another one with famous portraits is another Christine Karen Fairy and Fantasy 3. We've got this one, which is called Astral Fae. So she's a fairy and she's got a constellation right there if you can't tell. This one would come up really pretty, especially if you made the wings translucent. I have some techniques on that, but I haven't perfected it. And there's this one, which is called Star Catcher. And I think she looks more like Angel. These look like Angel Wings. But she is actually holding a star. So, to me, I feel like this is more heavenly. But you could do it for Space Timber. Alright. We've got a My Secret Bookish Life. And this one was gifted to me. 
Um, we have this one. There's actually a lot in this book that would work. So this one, we've got like planets folded into the like blanket weaves in the back. She's got stars on her skirt. So it makes me wonder if she's reading something about astrology or something. And then this one I think would work really well. Because look at the background is like outer space. She's got cats. She's on a couch all comfy. If you are a cat lady, this is probably for you. <laughs> Yeah, I have another one that I want to show you guys later from Rita Prince that's like this, but it's um, it doesn't have any animals or anything, and it's very spacey. That one, I think I will do the, the PDF of the Rita Prince, so I'll put that one away for now. Um, Care Bears, Coloring Heaven Collection. I totally forgot to look at this book because I said, oh, it's just Care Bears. Yeah, it has stars, but eh. And I thought, no, 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 I should look at it and see. So I did. And we've got this one that says space out. And we've got a star. It's like a shooting star. And these wouldn't take very long to color at all. And this is Cheer Bear, by the way. Cheer Bear is pink and has a rainbow on her belly. And this one says cosmic. And this one would be fun to color for Space Timber. Um, I don't know how to color this, but yeah, this one would definitely work. And once you got your color schemes of what you wanted to do, you could definitely do something fun with that and it wouldn't take that long. I have Tiny Animals by Jade Summer. The artwork's done by Candice Janney. And we've got this one. This book's funny too because all the characters have different facial expressions or facial cues so I just get a hoot at looking through this book. Um, and then there's this one. So this is the black background but mine has like a line through it so if I was to color it I think I'd color this one and do different colors in the background make it really fun and poppy. But I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna hold off on that. All right, I pulled my big book of Chibi Girls, Appreciated by Jade Summer. This is an oldie. Now, I haven't colored in this one, but I, for a long time, I owned this book by itself, this book by itself. And then when I saw there was a two-in-one, I bought the two-in-one and got rid of the individuals. Almost colored all of the two-in-one. And then I decided I really wanted the Christmas book. But it was cheaper to buy this than to buy the Christmas book. So then I bought this and then I got rid of my two-in-one. And so now it's like I have to restart all over again. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it will come to me, but yeah. This page I have colored before. Twice. But <laughs> this page totally reminds me of Guardians of the Galaxy. So if you have this book and you like this page, I would totally say go for it for Space Timber. It totally gives off the Guardians of the Galaxy vibe. They're fake little handguns. So funny. I don't think I'm gonna color it because I've already colored it twice. But <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Moving on. This is a really cute one from Jade Summer's old collection. I, and this is one I don't understand why I don't see it on other channels. It's um, Fantasy Kids. Maybe it's because it has kids in the title. But yeah, this is definitely a book you can color as an adult. And um, this one. We've got this girl and she is catching stars. And the stars actually are attracted to sweets. So this star is eating a donut. How fun is that? And then there's this one. This is a wizard. And there's stars falling from the sky into the water. And there's a castle and everything like that. This kind of gives me um, kind of the sword in the stone vibes because there's a wizard and there's a young boy. So yeah, I do like, I do like this one though. This one right here. I think it's funny. 
I don't know if I'd have time to color her though, because that's a lot of background. And I have colored in here before. I colored that one. It was fun. Yeah. Um, I have Anime Coloring Book by Jade Summer. This is another oldie. And so this one, they give you two sets of images. Uh, we got the Space Girl first off, so this is totally works for Space Timber, planets, we've got outer space, she's an astronaut, you know. But if you look at the next one, okay, look at her face. Got that in your head? Now look at her. They've totally changed it. So we've got her, she's got more of a nose, and... The backgrounds are the same, but it's like she's got more of a nose and more of a mouth, and then we've got her. So it depends which kind of anime style you like. You like it more like anime manga, or you like more of facial features. So, yeah. That's how it is in this whole book, by the way. You've got girl without a nose, girl with a nose. And I have colored in here. I wonder if I colored the one. I guess I colored the one with the nose. I colored the one with the nose. I preferred it over the line. Yeah. I have Kawaii Grayscale Coloring Book by Jade Summer. And this is the pre-shaded one. And you could definitely do her. And she would work for the alien thing if you don't want to do too much and you just want to color straight. This one would be a very good relaxing color for me if I'm having a really stressful day. She'd come together really quick because the grayscale's already put in. And all you have to do is add an alcohol marker and you're done. So I'm going to keep her flagged for my stash. I have the Sherry Baldi's My Besties Magical Creatures and Enchanted Places coloring book. And I colored this one. So it was on a moon and I made my girl into like an avatar. This was a very long time ago. Like before 2019. My coloring style has definitely changed. Uh, back then I used a lot of gel pen. This is eyeshadow background, by the way. Back when I didn't have pan pastels or anything special, I just used what I had, could find around the house. So yeah, I have stuff like that. <laughs> I only have three more books to show you here. So we have Time of Wonders by Tai Sun. And we've got this adorable one with the girl and the little puppy. And it's called The Lonely Planet. Now, I think I'm going to put this one off because um, I've already chose the other one with the boy that's the astronaut. So, yeah, I think I'm going to put that one away for now. I have to be a little more decisive. I can't do all of them. Or else I'd be coloring 24-7. I have the Happy Hearts by Tyson, and there's this one too. This one's really cute. Ah, oh, man. This one says NASA on it. it. Makes me want to do it more. It's called Space Friend. Okay, yes, I'm going to keep this one in my... <laughs> you should see my stack of like books I want to color in it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's sad. What can I say? I, I like it too much, I guess. I have the Happy Mandalas coloring book by L.J. Knight. I believe this was gifted to me by um, Ashley from Ashley's Coloring Love. Or not Ashley's Coloring Love. Sorry, Ashley. Ashley's Coloring Journey. What time is it? Like almost 11 o'clock. <laughs> but there's this one right here. So we've got astronauts and UFOs and a planet in the middle. And it has a black background, so it could color up really fast. You could do it in gel pens. You could do it in neons. Yeah. Loads of fun there. So, that's it for part three. 
Now, I haven't gone through my hardbound books like Hannah Carlson's and all those type of deals. Um, and I haven't even like attempted my Chameleon Angel Colbas and my Hannah Lynn's and yeah, there's still a lot of books I could potentially go through. If you guys are enjoying this series and want me to continue going, please let me know in the comments because if you're really not interested in this and you really don't want to see them, this is a lot of work to pull all this stuff and put everything away and all this stuff. So if you guys don't want to see it, then I don't want to pull it. You know what I mean? So please, 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 please let me know in the comment section below if you are loving seeing all these books and it's giving you inspiration uh, for Space Timber. And I want to thank Sarai Colors for coming up with the Space Timber um, whole concept. Uh, you're awesome, Soraya, and um, all my fellow co-hosts that are doing Space Timber with me and all those that are just doing Space Timber for fun. I have been watching your pages pull up on Instagram. I've been seeing your com your plans, like your September plans videos and all those things. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Incredible support. Just incredible. So have a fabulous day, guys. And remember to stay safe out there. And I will see you guys next time, hopefully for part four. But please let me know if you want me to continue this going on. Uh, it may be a continuation throughout the whole month of September. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But have a great day, guys. Bye.